never seen to every nation with peace our God and peace. He is the rock of our salvation. Lift up your hearts and sing. So sing, for we are God's people, for He has shown us His ways. He gathers us to His table to partake of His grace. Come, let us sing to every nation, Great is our God and King. He is the rock of our salvation. Lift up your hearts and sing. Great is our God and King. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours, and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, Grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, it says, He ascended on high and took prisoners captive. He gave gifts to men. What does He ascended mean except that He also descended into the lower regions of the earth. The one who descended is also the one who ascended far above all the heavens that he might fill all things. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ, so that we may no longer be infants tossed by waves and swept along by every wind of teaching arising from human trickery, from their cunning in the interests of deceitful scheming. Rather, living the truth in love, 
we should grow in every way into him who is the head christ from whom the whole body joined and held together by every supporting ligament where the proper functioning of each part brings about the body's growth and builds itself up in love. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within our gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Please all stand. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked man. Says the Lord, but rather in his conversion that he may live. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some people told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with the blood of their sacrifices. He said to them in reply, Do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, they were greater sinners than all other Galileans? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those 18 people who were killed when the tower at Siloam fell on them, do you think that they were more guilty than everyone else who lived in Jerusalem, by no means. But I tell you, if you do not, do not repent, you will all perish as they did. And he told them this parable. There was, was a person who had a fig tree planted in his orchard. And when he came in search of fruit on it but found none, he said to the gardener, for three years now I have come in search of fruit on this fig tree, but have found none. So cut it down. Why should it, it, it exhaust the soil? He said to him in reply, Sir, leave it for this year also. I shall cultivate the ground around it and fertilize it. It may bear fruit in the future, but not if not, you can cut it down. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Jesus gave a parable in our Gospel this morning. And the parable was about 
a fig tree that does not bear fruit. And the owner of the, the orchard asked that the fig tree bearing without fruit be cut down. O putuli na lang, hindi naman namumunga. Naalala ko ho nung high school ho ako, may tinuro ho sa akin na puno ng papaya ang lolo ko. At nasabi niya, o oh, yung punong yan, yan yung lalaking papaya. Ay ko, paano ho nyo nalaman? Hindi na mumunga. Limang taon na yan, hindi pa na mumunga yan. Binigyan niya ho ako ng, ano, ng pala at sinabi sa akin, o oh, itong pala, hawakan mo, hukayin mo na, tanggalin mo na. Hindi naman po ako yung ano, <laughs> yung sa gospel, sabihin, pwede isang taon pa. <laughs> Pero sa ating ibanghelyo, ganun din ang gusto sabihin ng may-ari eh. Hindi naman namumunga yan, putuli na yan, tanggalin na natin yan. Pero sabi na nangangalaga, isang taon pa. Aalagaan ko, bibigyan ko ng pataba, baka sakaling mamunga pa. At minsan, ganun din tayo sa buhay natin, di ba? In front of God, minsan namin natin may mga panahon na hindi tayo namumunga bilang kristyano. At ano ba yung bunga ng isang kristyano? Ang bunga natin ay pagmamahal at pagmamalasakit. Pagunawa sa kapwa natin, yun yung bunga ng pagiging kristyano. Kaya nga, di ba, ang paalaala sa atin ni Jesus, malalaman ng buong mundo na kayo'y mga alagad ko kung magmamahalan kayo. That's why the fruit of every Christian is the fruit of love. Authentic. Real. Not showbiz-like. <laughs> Minsan yung iba, aminin natin, para magmukhang maganda, magmukhang mabait, may bit-bit na camera, picturean mo ako, papakain ako, picturean mo ako, nagdadasal ako. God knows our hearts. In fact, alam ng Diyos ang laman ng puso natin, alam niya yung bunga natin, alam niya, kung peke. <laughs> Alam niya kung totoo. Kaya ang imbitasyon sa atin, sana yung bunga natin, bilang kristyano, bilang mga nagmamahal at nagdidibusyon sa poong Isos na Sareno, and also those who are in pilgrimage from different places, coming here to Quiapo, would realize and your pilgrimage will bear fruit. And the fruit that we ask is that we bear that fruit of love that Jesus has showed us. Ang bunga ng Kristiyano ay pagmamahal. Ang bunga ng Kristiyano ay pag-uunawa dahil si iyon ang pinakita sa atin ni Jesus. Kaya ang Diyos ay binibigyan din tayo ng pagkakataon. Marahil yung, hardin, yung hardinero na nakiusap na sabing isang taon pa aalagaan ko ito, bigyan mo ako isang pagtaon pag hindi na munga, o di sige. Pero bigyan mo pa ako ng one year. Aalagaan ko yung punong ito, baka sakaling mamunga pa. At ito din ang Diyos sa harap pa. At ito rin si Jesus, na nakikiusap din para sa atin sa mga panahong hindi tayo namumunga. 
pinapakiusapan din niya ang ama, bigyan mo pa ng pagkakataon to. Isang taon pa, pwede ba? At sana tayo din bilang Kristiyano, God gave us chances to grow in faith, to grow in love, that our lives may bear much fruit. And I hope that as we grow in faith, we are able to, to, we are able to bear fruit. Pangit ko naman na sa ilang taon mo na, sa ilang paglalakbay mo na, sa ilang taon mo nang namimintuho at nagdidibusyon sa poong Isus na Sareno, pangit naman kung walang nagbabago, di ba? Pangit naman kung imbis na sana maging mabuti, parang palala ng palala. <laughs> sana yung pakiusap din ng Diyos sa atin, to bear fruit and God gives us chances and is offering us chances once again to change our lives so that we can bear fruit. And I hope we accept that chance that the Lord is giving us and we do not, we do not waste that chance that the Lord is giving us because you will never know if there will be a next. <laughs> diba? <laughs> you will never know if there will be a next. Kaya sana yung pagkakataon, wag sayangin. Yung imbitasyon ng Diyos sa mamunga tayo, wag baliwalain. God is offering us a chance to grow in faith. Do not put it aside because we do not know what the future holds for us. Para sa iba, baka may third chance. Baka sa iba, wala nang third chance. Kung anong chance na binigay sa iyo ni Lord, kunin mo na. Make the most out of it. Because we can only live in the present moment. We do not know what the future holds for us. Kaya seize that opportunity Seize this opportunity to come closer to Christ, to go to confession, to walk new, and to bear fruit. And our fruit as Christians is love. Amen. Please all stand. God is patient and aware of our miseries. Let us pray to Him to help us on the way to conversion and renewal. As we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our church leaders may inspire us to a more fervent devotion to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our community may bear the fruits of prayer and penance and face the judgment seat of God with sincere and humble hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may bring warmth to those whose hearts are empty and cold. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer may have the strength to reach out for the Lord, who is always near. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may see the face of Jesus and remain in His presence forever. <coughs> Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, receive the prayers of a penitent people who come before you in humility and faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Mm -hmm. 
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so with the company of with the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of, the, of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Para sa lahat ng tatanggap ng banal na komunyon, sasagot po tayo ng Amen, pagkasabi ng pari o ng lay minister ng katawan ni Kristo, at isubo agad sa bibig bago umalis sa harapan ng pari o lay minister. Sumunod po tayo. For you lay down your life For friends you called your own No greater love than yours 
greater love than yours. You took a bitter cup, eating our bread and wine, nobly. announcement, available na po ang ating mga All Souls envelope. Sa mga nagnanais, maaari kayong kumuha sa malapit sa mga pintuan ng ating simbahan o sa information guard. Isulat lamang po ang mga pangalan ng mga kamag-anak, kaibigan at mga kakilalang na mayapa o sumakabilang buhay na. Sa buong buwan ng Nobyembre, ito po ay ating isasama sa lahat ng mga misa na nagaganap sa ating simbahan. Iniahandog ng Simbahan ng Quiapo ang Nazareno Booklet. Ito ay naglalaman ng nobena at mga dasal sa Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno. Ito po ay mabibili sa ating parish finance office at nagkakahalaga ng 20 pesos. Mga paalala sa mga nagsisimba, pagkatapos ng misa, wiwisikan po ang lahat ng banal na tubig. Pinaikiusapan ng lahat na manatili lamang muna sa inyong mga lugar. Tanging sa Quezon Boulevard o sa Plaza San Juan lamang ang labasan ng lahat. Sumunod po tayo. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw at pagsisimba sa Basilica Menor at Pambansang Dambana ni Jesus Nazareno. Please all stand. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be held by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Blessed are you, Lord, you O God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, you have given us your only Son to be our way to you. Make us follow Him generously, faithfully, and lovingly, 
Merciful Jesus of Nazareth, you have revealed God's grace and unconditional love for us at the cross. You set your church in this world from which the true light would shine for all to see. Grant that we who even enter this holy shrine may walk in your ways as disciples of justice, peace, mercy, and hope. We offer our prayers for the sick, the oppressed, and the youth, and those in most need of your mercy. Hear our humble petitions. Bless these religious articles that they may be fervent in prayer and charity. As we continue our journey as your pilgrim people here on earth, may we set our hearts on the road to heaven, our true home and reward, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Father Jesus, Nazareno, sinasamba ka namin. Kami sa kasalanan Ang krus na nabatayan ay Sa isang pangpaminan Asan Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Pinaramal ang Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno Tuvo el mati a Dani Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno Tuvo el mati a Dani Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, you are not.